Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together. Good morning, good morning. How are you today? Well, I hope. We're making a buckle card today with nature's beauty. So that's what we're doing. And um, it just comes open like that. So how easy is that? All right, so that's what we're making today. So welcome to Live with Libby. I'm Libby Dyson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And I'm so pleased you could join me today. Um, lots going on at the moment. We've got um, a 24-hour sale coming up on Wednesday. Starting to gear up for Christmas, are you? Just have me a coffee. We'll get started. We've got our 24-hour sale coming up on the 23rd of October. So it goes from one minute past 12 on the 23rd and finishes at 11.59 on the 23rd. So um, I wouldn't wait till the end of the day to get your orders in. There's 15% off on selected stamp sets and there's a heap. There's so many lovely ones I'm looking at. Beautiful You, uh, Dashing Deer, all sorts. So I'm going to go through the list shortly and see what I need. So 15% off is great. Hi Rails, how are you? So don't forget that on Wednesday, 24 hour sale, 15% off lots of stamp sets. And this is the card we're making today. It's a buckle card and it just fits together. Hang on. So this is the card open. Thanks for sharing rails. And then when you close it, I'll show you again when I turn the camera around. It looks like that. It's really easy to make, but it's quite effective. And we're using Nature's Beauty. Now, Nature's Beauty is the stamp set that a portion of each sale goes to mental health services here in Australia. And this week, if you buy this through my online store, I'm donating $5 from each sale to Beyond Blue. So, um, yeah, get in and buy it. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. So we've talked about the 15% off sale, the 24-hour sale. Lots and lots of things. So Merry Christmas, which is a photopolymer set. Normally um, $47 is down to $39.95. So how good's that? Um, so many great sets are up for sale. All right, so having said that, I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get inky. All right, wait a minute. Okay, so we're using Nature's Beauty and here's a couple of cards I've just made today. Well, yesterday. And I've got um, a video on my blog of how to make these cards using sponges. So, no sentiment in this stamp set, but the images are just gorgeous and great for this type of card. So, they're two cards that I've made. Um, and here's the original card I used. I um, made using the bird one. All right, so... It just pops open like this and here you have the sentiment and whatever and it's easy as it'll stand up and you can have it open or you can have it closed it's up to you and I've stamped on the envelope as well so we're going to make this today now I've got my handy dandy little bit of paper here that tells me the measurements because I've already put that one up on my blog 
and just need some more coffee. I think we're here by ourselves today, Rails. Two comments. Can't see the comments. Hello, Lynn Hemphill. How are you? Thanks for joining me, ladies. All right, so here's our card base. Now, our card base is 21 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres. And I've scored it at, I've scored it at, wait till I get my ruler out. All right. All right, so it's 21 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres or eight and a quarter inches by four inches, four and a quarter inches, four and a quarter inches, and it's scored at 13.2 13.2 centimetres or five and a quarter inches. All right, so that's the measurement for that one. And I'll just bring in my bone folder and give it a good burnish. And that's going to go that way for our card. Now I've cut a piece of DSP from Good Morning Magnolia to fit on the front. So we're just going to add that with glue. Oh, nice, Lynn. Sounds lovely. Anyone else get a build-up of glue around their nozzle? All right, so we're just going to add that to the front of our card now tomorrow i'm going to try going live on youtube um probably about 11 o'clock all right so we glued that on then i've cut another piece of dsp for the inside of the card so we're just going to glue that on i know we haven't done any stamping yet now, don't forget to like my Facebook page so you can see when I go live. There we go. So that's that part of our card done. All right, now I've got another piece of card, which is 19 centimetres by 5 centimetres or seven and a half inches by two inches and it's scored at 9.5 centimeters or three and three quarter inches so there you are you've got all those measurements now now on this piece this is going to go this way on our card so what I'm going to do on this piece is stamp on the inside a greeting. Now I've decided to use um, a sentiment from Band Together because I quite like that. So I'll just come in with cement, some memento. No, it's not working. Not enough coffee. And I'm stamping, you are amazing, on the inside, just about there. All right, and then with some, yeah, that wasn't very straight, was it? Never mind. Uh, Mossy Meadow, I'm just going to add some grassy bits from nature's beauty out there and some more about there all right now on the front i'm going to use some early espresso this is really quite a quick card now don't forget the sale on wednesday all right so I'm going to use the rabbit. I haven't used the rabbit yet with some early espresso. 
put him here. Such a cute rabbit. I'm not a real fan of the fox, mainly because they're vermin here in Australia. So, all right, so what are you thinking of this card so far? We'll put some trees here. All right, now, envelope. Envelope I have. So while I've got the trees out, I'm just going to stamp on the envelope. I might stamp on the back as well. Our um, envelope's done. And you don't need an insert for this card because we've just made it with that little bit that we did. All right, so that's our stamping done. Now this is going to go on there like that and what we need to do is come in with our classic label punch and we're going to, oh thanks Lynn. Alright, now what you need to do is you need to stick your punch in as far as it'll go and try and centre it so that you've got at about equidistant and then punch down all right so that's that part done now here comes the fun part this this flap goes inside here right you just want it to go in and set it up so it's straight right here comes Libby's quick and easy way to adhere things. Set it up so it's straight. Open up the flap, holding the two bits together. Just need to wiggle that round a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to pop some liquid glue on here and pop it down. Now liquid glue is great because it gives you wiggle room. All right, so that's our card. I'll just leave it dry. Now don't forget all these products. Good morning, Deborah. how are you? All these products are available in my online store. I'd love you to shop with me. I'm going to go on um, YouTube tomorrow, YouTube Live, maybe about 11. So come back then and see what I've got for you. Um, so this was the original card made with the Birds of a Feather Suite. Um, so closed, it looks like this. And I've used one of the little um, flowers from that suite on there. And open, it's like that. So that was the original card and this is the card we've made today. It needs something else on it. What does it need? I know what it needs. It needs um, a multi-loop bow maybe in linen thread. What do you think? Girls, multi-loop bow in linen thread. Let's see if I can get oh, my linen threads caught under my stand all right so cut a bit off got my handy dandy ribbon scissors all right this is how to do a multi-loop bow all right go around three fingers sort of roughly all right leave a bit so i've gone around about three times this might be a bit big i'll just pull those in a bit Right, then go around four fingers and leave a bit. Alright, bring the two bits together and give them a twist in the, about the middle. Like 
Might add that bit down there. And this bit down here. All right, now the bit I chopped off before, I'll just move this out of the way. All right, you're going to put it around the middle and I'll go around twice and then I hold it. You need sort of more than one hand to do this, but you can do it yourself. All right, and flip that in there like that. And pull. All right, then tie it off again so that you know it's all going to stay together. Get your ends. Now see how this one's a bit large, so I'm just going to pull that in. All right, take your ends and get them to sort of be together come on in and chop them off it does use up a fair bit of linen thread but it looks amazing and then you just need a glue dot and on our card i'm going to Make a circle on my glue dot base like that. Put the glue dot on the card front and then glue it here, the bow. Give it a good press down. There we are. Does that look a bit better? What do you think? So that's our card with our um, Nature's Beauty stamp set. And I've used a sentiment from Band Together. And I've used a classic label die. Some linen thread. Um, DSP from Good Morning Magnolia. There's our envelope. I'll just show you the inside once more. So someone's going to win this today. I'm going to draw this later today. So while it's on my mind... All right, last week, I sent last week's card to Kylie Bertucci. She's, um, her dad's been very unwell and um, she had to suddenly fly to Perth. So instead of drawing somebody last week, I sent it to Kylie. All right, so there's our card and there's the other card I made before. And we've used Nature's Beauty today. Don't forget the 24-hour sale on Wednesday. And I'd love you to shop with me in my online store. Go to LibbyStamps.com and click on the shop button. I send out rewards to people who shop with me. And um, you can also join my newsletter by going to my site, LibbyStamps.com. All right, thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to catch me on YouTube live tomorrow, probably about 11. Okay, bye for now.